We are going to see how to dynamically change the data inside a visual and this will also change the title of the particular visual. And let us see what exactly we mean. On the left side, you can see a slicer which is having three columns, total sales, total profit and total quantity. If you can see over the right, each one is a separate column inside the table. We have a sales column, a quantity column and a profit column. We are making use of the columns as filters. And if I select any of the column here, that should change the visual on the right. For example, if I'm selecting total quantity, it is saying the total quantity by year as a title along with the data inside the visual. And if I select total sales, it is going to change the data accordingly and the title also will be changed. Let us see how exactly we can achieve this. Let's create a new page. First, we are going to make use of measures. We need to create three separate measures to create this. And we're going to make use of parameters. While you click on the modeling tab on the top and you can see parameters section. Here we are making use of field parameters. The reason we are using parameters directly here because let's come to the table, which is dummy sales. Here we can see we have the columns, quantity, sales, and the profit. If I select profit over here and sales, it's not going to work because we need the total profit and the total sales. For that, we need to create three measures. So let's quickly create three measures, which is of total sales, total profit and total quantity. And here we have three measures, total profit, total quantity, and total sales. And now let us make use of the parameters. Click on the modeling tab, click on new parameter and click on fields. And let's name this. And we need to select three measures that we have created. It is total profit, total quantity, and total sales. And we can choose add slicer to this page, which will directly create a slicer. And we have the slicer ready, which is of three columns and the sum of each. And let's create a visual here. And let's make use of a column chart, which you have created previously. And let's try to add the data. We cannot just make use of the measures which we have created on the right. When we created the parameters over the right, we can see a field parameters column being created. It is like a separate table. You can just drop down. And you can see there is a name which contains the same name of the one which we created. And you can just make use of this. And also I'm going to give some date column over here and I'm going to use only for year. And here we can see we have the visual created. Now let us try to select one filter. When I select filter, you can see total profit new, which is exactly the same name of our measure. We don't want to have this name. Let's just only have total profit, total quantity and total sales. For that, you need to click on data view. And inside the data view, click on the one which we have created. So this is the new dynamic change, which is the one which we created. When you come to the DAX expression over here, you can see total profit new, total quantity new and the sales new. Let's rename the columns here. And here we can see it got renamed. And if you go to our report view, boom, you can see it got changed. And now let's also try to add some data labels. And when we select anything, you're going to see the change in the data and title. And there is a scenario. I'm going to select multiple things. Imagine I'm going to select two things, quantity and the profit. And that is going to show both. And over the title, it is already appending an and, and it is showing both total quantity and total profit by year. And this is how we can make use of the field parameters so that we can make use of the columns as a filters.